Good afternoon, probably getting towards evening for some of you. Well, whenever you watch this, it's about 2.30 my time. And for you today, I am bringing you doubled up swatches in one video because I have for you the two woodlands from Ensley Rain. Okay, so this palette was $30 when they originally launched the Woodland series. I was even saying at that point, eh, I think it's almost a little high, but um, it is great for a little travel palette because you can remove them, um, take just a few shades with you if you're gone for like a weekend or something. I mean, what a great idea. I wasn't gonna get the Woodland series when it was $30 for each palette, but then you guys, they released Hoppy Go Lucky and when they released Hoppy Go Lucky, it was 26 and they dropped Nutty by Nature to 26. I was saying I think 27 is fair and then using somebody's code, um, you get another 270 off. So just say $3 off of 26, you're basically paying 24.30 for them, which is a fabulous deal. So which is what I did. Don't forget on your very first time, you can use this code one time, welcome. W-E-L-C-O-M-E 15 will save you 15% off once it is the brand's coupon that you can use one time on one purchase. I want you to get an idea of the size of these little palettes and um, they are very, very, very cute, but I do find that I will watch videos and then I'm always surprised when things are smaller. So I like to be uh, make it clear of how big something is. I have always had very small hands, okay? Um, I remember like one of my boyfriends, his hands were like an entire knuckle length longer than mine. So I have already very small hands. And this palette is basically about the size of my palm. And then I can bend my knuckle, okay? It is adorable. It is the cutest little six pan I've ever seen. Let me just grab one of my Juvia's Place six pans. Um, this is the only six pan I have other than that, I think. So just for an idea, if you have maybe a Juvia's Place six pan, these are just a smidge smaller. Okay. So this is the Juvia's I think is a pretty standard. So I did notice this is just a tidge smaller. So really compact and great, I think for travel. I think their thought of this is for travel and on both the sleeve and the palette, you get the raised Ensley Rain decal. The Nutty by Nature is raised, and so is the detailing, like the bunny is all raised on here, and the detailing around his ears and stuff is raised, he or she's its ears. And um, then when we come over here, same thing with the sleeve and the palette. Again, raised detailing on the Ensley Rain and Hoppy Go Lucky, and then all of the flowers on the bunny. Uh, yeah, the bunny. What did I, I called this a bunny? This is a squirrel, excuse me. Um, and all the bunny's little headdress and ears are raised on here. It's it's so beautiful. Very, very, very cute on both of these this time around. Like, and of course, um, I love to say it. Commissioned artist. We love to see it. Thank you, Inslee Rain, for listening and showing us that you truly care and that you listen to your customers. We appreciate that so much. And, um, you know, this is this is exactly how I love to see a brand to deal with something like that is exactly how Inslee Rain did. So um, when we go ahead and we look at the palette here, we are going to be getting, uh, again, the typical EnsleyRain.com. If you want to shop there, they're distributed uh, by the Heartmark Co. is their distribution name and then Grants Pass, Oregon is where they are. They are a local indie brand to me. Um, I mean, I don't live in Grants Pass, but they are a local, they live in my state. And uh, this is the net weight of 6.6 .6 grams, which makes about each a shade, about a gram, 1.1 grams is what they would be. So pretty standard size pan, square, and then it's a 0.233 of an ounce. Same on both. They both have the same weight. And opening it up, we get a mirror in both of them. 
Generally, I review swatches uh, singly, but only because these are both out. Like when the next one in the series comes out, which I guess is already made, and um, the other the influencers that get them already have them, so the next one in the series is will be revealed by them within probably the next two weeks, I would say. Um, but we get our standard mirror in both of them, which is really great for that price too. And then we get our six shades. Um, I mean, how perfect is it that if you don't like one of these, you can easily pop it out. Say you want to travel with different shades, or maybe you want to put one together for a neutral and then a pop, or you want to take them just like they are. So I think they're very travel friendly. Now, like I said, I wasn't going to buy them at $30 a piece, and then they dropped it to 26 So for $23, I'm getting these. Of course, I'm going to buy them for $23. I mean, that is an amazing deal for a little travel palette that I can put my own things in. And since I like to BYOP, that's a big selling point for me personally. Now, I do pay for all of my stuff. I do not get things sent to me for free. I pay for my items with my hard-earned money. So my reviews are raw, unedited, and I tell you exactly what I think. Um, I actually generally go through with a palette this small. If there's no issues, it will be a one review because I can put, I can use all six shades in one review. Only when I start have issues will those reviews be a little bit longer but I will work through those things on camera with you so that you can see it for your own eyes um, let's go ahead so today is swatches of these two palettes I already have them both switched out on each arm so here we are with nutty by nature um, I will be doing a look with nutty by nature on my eyes to start the review and testing it like I said if it's a no issues it will be the only day for this palette um but one thing i want you guys to be excited for because next year how uh i'm talking about my saving money and all that i am going to show you how to get a works a week's worth of looks out of a six pan it can be done and the only thing stopping you from doing it is your creativity it might be in the same color stories but i'm going to show you exactly how useful you can make a six pan and I think it's gonna really kind of surprise you because I don't generally buy six pans it's just not enough for me but with the money saving thing for next year I think it's very wise to do so I'm gonna turn my wrist this way for hoppy go lucky now oh, here let me let me scoot let me scoot over here actually for you okay here's hoppy go lucky a little bit lighter, very ethereal. I feel like this one is very ethereal, but just stunningly gorgeous. The special shades in both of these, I just absolutely love. All right, so even though I put the shimmers on my arm, I'm still gonna swatch them out for you because I just, I have to have the hand swatches. I like the hand swatches for the special shades. So we'll do Nutty by Nature's two on here and then we'll do Hoppy Go Lucky's two on here. So first we have the shade Secret Stash and we have the shade Squirtly. Here is Secret Stash and here is Squirtly. First of all, Secret Stash is a blue with a pink and a yellow flip on it. It has a little bit more chunk to it as you can see, but I did swatch these very lightly yesterday and it does smooth right out. It's not like the chunkiest they do. Now, Squirrely, oh, and there's a, a lot of sparkle in this one. It's kind of hard to see the sparkle. I was kind of blinded by the light. Um, here, let me look at it on my arm, actually. We've got pink, mainly pink and yellow sparkles and some green sparkles going through this one. So sorry. And then Squirrely is going to be a red with like a brown base on it here. So sorry. And it's got like some yellow and brown, I think, going through it. Maybe some oranges going in there, too. See the pink and the green in there as I turn my finger. The orange is becoming super prominent and squirrely. And that brown. And look at that. You see, definitely see that green. It's really getting reflective right up in here. I really like the finger swatches like this. They're my actually favorite part to do. Finger swatch part. I should just completely go down the finger too. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that today. But see, as I'm saying, even though that this one has a little bit of that chunk on it, it still just smooths right out. Oh, wow. Look at that shade. 
Ooh. Oh my God. This palette was worth just that shade. Just that shade. Another thing I would like you to consider is that um, I can I can say I would pay five dollars a piece just for one Inslee Rain matte because they are that good. I love how they're like buildable and blendable, and I love the, their their tones and shades that they do. I would one thousand percent consider that these mats are worth five dollars a piece. So if you consider five dollars just for the mats, that's twenty dollars. If you consider having a mirror and a magnetic palette. Well, that's say $3.40 and then you're basically, so there's the price of the palette and then you get the two special shades for free. I think if you look at it in that manner, you're getting an amazing deal. Here's that straight on. Blue is really prominent. Red's really prominent. Then see it turning yellow. There's the green. Look at that. Oh. This secret stash shade is so stunning. I mean, they both are. Come on, where'd that pink flip go? Yeah, the pink flip's like kind of on top. The light's kind of blinding the pink flip there. There we are. So there's your pink and your orange. Look at that. Look how beautiful. That'll be so good for like, I think for Thanksgiving shade or something. If you have this, you could wear that on Thanksgiving. Look at that. And then there's the pink. Okay. And when I see this on my hand, it's like turquoise, kind of like cybernetic spark looks. If you have cyber choir, kind of looks like that. Well, it has flips on it though. It doesn't like cyber choir. It just has like a, it's like a teal with maybe one flip on it. That's like very like radioactive, but this one has like, this is a multi-chrome with like a green and pink flip. That's not what cybernetic spark flips like, but I'm saying when I look at it here on my hand to the side, I see that color that cybernetic spark is what I'm saying. It's like a really sharp, there, like turquoise. And I can't get the turquoise to really show for you because the flip happens so quick. But it's stunning. Yeah, there's one shade you guys are not seeing there. Okay. And then let me look at the other one real quick here too to see if there's anything else I'm missing. Nope. And there's a ton of yellow and even some, just a ton and ton and ton of yellow sparkles going through that shade there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and swatch out the other two for Hoppy Go Lucky. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let me move that so I don't bounce the camera and make you sick. So sorry about that. Grab this too. Okay, now Hoppy Go Lucky. Now I want to let you know the two in here are. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. I am going way too fast. Excuse me. We are not done. Forget me nut. The first yellow in here, beautiful, beautiful, like spring type yellow, love yellow. Yellow is one of my most favorite colors to put on my face. I love yellow. Uh, nutty na neighbor here, this yellow, I mean orange, oh my God, I am just in love with that shade. In a nutshell, very like taupe tan type color, beautiful. And then Nut Job actually is just a beautiful, like cooler brown. Let me show you them here again. So here you can't see the yellow as much, but on the eye, I'm sure it's going to pop. This one looks like it's in the new palette, I wonder. I wonder if any of the six pans got any of the colors from any of that, that new palette. They just are now launching that light in the eye or whatever it is. And then um, this one built up very nicely only needed one swatch this one i did two this one i did two and then this one i just did the one because i wanted you to be able to see it there so really beautiful this is like a coffee bean brown here and then the taupe and then that orange and then the yellow so just beautiful and here it is with it shimmers okay so then now we can go over here. Let me talk about the mats right here. Cottontail. You're not going to really see cottontail on me. This is like exactly the color of my skin. This is going to be the most perfect blend out. Like I would literally be able to use this for like a face powder if I wanted to. As you can see, it's the first shade on my wrist right there. You like can't even see it barely. You can kind of see the transition from my palm to it. But it is so close to my skin color. You can't even see where it stops and my skin starts. And this, uh, so that's Cottontail Thumper. I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a mauve -y. It's got a little bit of a mauve tone to the taupeness. 
See that? See the mauve in there a little bit? And then we have hippity hoppity boo, which is going to be your orange, but it's kind of like a coral. It's like a mix of carrot coral, kind of. It's it's not like a too much carrot. It's like a little bit of corals running through the carrot to like make it more muted. Then the carrot cake down here, it looks like it's going to be a brown, but it's actually like a reddish plummy type color in the when you put it on there. Now, for the two special shades on my arm, I want to let you know that Hop Hoppy Hour, which is the blue one, which is right next to that deep brown, that one is much, much more like a topper. It's very, very light, very thin. Um, it's got like a teal color with it looks like a yellow and a um, pink, maybe some blue flip on it. And it's got a lot of green and uh, blue sparkles going through it. There's some yellow sparkles I see as well. And then Velveteen is more like a corally color and um, it's just beautiful. Let's so let's get those two swatched on the hand so that we can see them. So Hoppy Hour, I'll probably have to build up just because it is so thin. And then Velveteen, they're both so beautiful. It's got a lot of silver running through Velveteen. Um, virtually no chunk. This has a teensy bit of it. Really shiny. Look at this velveteen. Very thin shades, though. Very topper-esque. This one's like the only true, true topper, but this one is very, very thin. It really reminds me of the yellow. It's almost like thin like the yellow in Flourish. Let's see how far I can get. Now, this one actually kind of builds up just like those Glaminatrix shimmers do and then just melt out like that feathery lightness, just like I was talking about in the Glaminatrix final review. feels the exact same way. And then Hoppy Hour. I've got to put Hoppy Hour down more because Hoppy Hour, if you want Hoppy Hour to show up, you're going to have to really add, kind of like build it up. But it's the only one of them. So see, it's very ethereal, very scattered stars like, as I've said before on some of the, you know, real thin topper-esque. And then we've got like, this is so, I'm so sorry, you guys, this is really weird for my hand, for my left hand. So you can see how this one goes iridescent and disappears. And then this one, you can see like that, like um, the base is kind of like iridescent coral instead and then you get a ton of silver sparkle that pops forward this one you get the blue that pops forward it's like a baby blue but we've got pink and yellow so this is like a super soft like yellow flip on it it's like super like almost the color of that one that like matches my finger or my skin tone and so see this is what we get here really ethereal and fun and beautiful these are so my colors, like I'm gonna have so much fun when I use this one. But my plan is to do one look today and I think just because it will match my top, I'm gonna use Nutty by Nature today. And then I'm gonna save um, this one for tomorrow. Um, however, if, because yeah, because what I'll do is I'll, I'll have to use Dee Dee's signature, so I'll have to post the swatches and stuff to get there um, to be able to do that. So Dee Dee's signature will start reviewing Sunday. So, and then you guys, um, I won't have any new palettes to review. Um, uh, that will be the last of anything I have coming. And I don't know when I'm on pause now from purchasing anything else because I don't have any more money, <laughs> basically. So we'll see where we go from there. But you know what? That's fine because I have to wrap up the year anyway. I got... 45, 50, I think I got like 50 new, I got 50 palettes this year alone, which is basically like one a week. I think that it, I should be very, I should feel very blessed, very grateful. And I truly am. I'm really excited. And I don't ever want to get to a point where I'm like, I don't care about my collection. I'm just gonna, you know, I just want to keep buying more. You know, I don't ever want to be that way. I want to use what I got and I want to really enjoy it because I really have felt like I've just set everything aside. I've never owned more than three palettes before in my life life at one time before two years ago. So this to me is like unreal. This is like living in a dream for me for what I have. And I don't want to lose that feeling of not being so grateful for what I have. So from here on, plus we've got a wrap up the year. I've got the worst of 2024. I've got the best of 2024. I've got just everything that I need to do. I got to rank my palettes for the year. So 
I've got to wrap up, you know, the, the makeup for the year too, all the makeup category stuff that I've got to do. So I've still got to do all of that. Look, that had just fallen on the thing <laughs> on the table. And, um, I'm going to get better at not shaking the table for you guys, but yeah, it's just, I don't ever want to be ungrateful for what I have and I'm not going to change my style either from, um, how I review it because then it's just a first impression. And if I did that, then I would be doing exactly what I say other people are doing that I don't like. So I'm not going to do that. I, I don't want to change my review style. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day. Also, I turned up the video quality. So we're in, um, full HD right now, I believe. And also that means that I have to finish my video before 30 minutes. Otherwise the video is going to cut off on me. I think this might be the best way to keep my video short. Look at, I'm at 20 minutes and 56 seconds, 21 minutes and we're done. Have a good day. Bye.